So what should you expect for closing costs? Well, closing costs are typically different for buyers and sellers. There are different fees that each are going to incur and should plan for. Sellers are usually responsible for sales commissions, and, and that would be the commission that is paid both to the listing agent, the agent representing the seller, as well as the buyer's agent. The buyer doesn't see that cost. That's typically arranged when a, a property owner lists their property for sale. That, that cost is negotiated at that point in time. Uh, and is transparent to a buyer when, when they are purchasing the property, when the transaction is going through escrow. Uh, buyers are responsible for their own loan fees and, and uh, the amount of money that, that's involved uh, it, when you finance a property is going to include uh, uh, quite a few different fees associated with uh, getting a loan, whether that's the appraisal or fees to the lender or uh, mortgage insurance. There are quite a few costs associated with the loan. Uh, neither of those fees, neither the commission or loan related fees, actually appear on a purchase contract. So when uh, you're writing an offer, for instance, if you're a buyer writing an offer, you're going to identify the fees that are typically uh, negotiated between buyer and seller uh, that are not uh, related to those others that are that are not included in the contract and that's going to include fees like um, uh, an escrow fee because there will be an escrow company that's that neutral third party that's going to manage the transaction there's a fee to do that or title insurance and title insurance uh, will protect the, the owner o over any challenges to who is the owner of the property. That's, that's protecting title. And, and a, uh, an owner, someone buying a property, wants to make sure that there's no claims that they have to, to be concerned about coming in the future, but a lender does as well. So the more common e e expenses, once you take out loan-related expenses that don't appear in the contract, and, and commissions that are pre-negotiated and also don't appear in the contract. You'll have an escrow fee, there will be title insurance, there might be uh, a, a home warranty, uh, there typically is transfer tax, which is like a sales tax for a home purchase, and that might be, uh, uh, certainly is gonna be due by a county and collected uh, at the close of escrow to be paid to the county. There may be an additional uh, uh, transfer tax for certain cities, um, and all of those fees get to uh, be uh, arranged who will pay what when a buyer is presenting an offer. So the offer will ulti ultimately become a contract if accepted, or there will be counters, but when a buyer is writing an offer, they're going to identify who pays what. But when you're dealing with closing costs, there is what's considered to be uh, ordinary and customary. Uh, and that is uh, usually a county by county um, uh, tradition that in fact, in one county or another, it would typically be um, escrow fees would be split. Uh, typically title insurance uh, for the owner, the new buyer, is going to be paid by the seller, but the lender's title insurance policy would be paid by the borrower, which is the buyer. Um, county transfer tax are commonly paid by the seller. Uh, a home warranty is always negotiable, and the buyer, when they are uh, making an offer, may simply ask to have a, a home warranty included in the purchase.